years, then we haven't even copyrighted our material. We allow people to copy it, to give it away. That's what we want. I've heard people say that tree ring dating would disprove the Bible. I want to know, is that true? Eric Hovind wants to find out if something is true. I dared not dream this day would come. Welcome to Apologia, where a former Christian takes a look at the claims of Christians. To my great surprise, a video from Creation Today Ministries showed up in my YouTube subscriptions feed this week. It's been a full year since Eric Hovind's ministry posted their last video, and it's only the third in the last two years. I was cutting them some slack, they did release a movie, but it felt like something was up, because the week prior, Eric posted this to Facebook. Grand Canyon, we're headed back from the Grand Canyon, had a great time there, and uh, can't wait to show you the documentary, you'll be able to check it out at grandcanyonmovie.com. Yep, there's a Grand Canyon movie coming from Eric Hoven this fall, look out for that one. This new video with the peppy music is branded Creation Bytes, spelled like the unit of computer memory for some unexplained reason. A series started and abandoned way back in 2013, consisting of four short videos with Paul Taylor. But suddenly, three new episodes have been added in just the past few months. Let's see what Eric has to say. I've heard people say that tree ring dating would disprove the Bible. I'm confused as to how tree rings could possibly disprove any ancient book. The Bible says the flood destroyed the world 4,400 years ago. Oh, well, that's not exactly true. Eric's particular brand of creationism claims this, but nowhere in the Bible does it give any dates for any of the events in the book of Genesis. Humans like Bishop Usher have interpreted Bible passages and genealogies in certain ways and say that the numbers add up to the 4,400 years that Eric mentions. Of course, other Christians interpret these passages differently, sometimes to the tune of billions of years. Not exactly close. Still, other godly men say that the flood of Noah was just a local flood, covering only the Middle East. With all of these vastly different ideas out there, it'd be impossible for any dating method to disprove all of them. So let's fix Eric's title, shall we? Instead of, does tree ring dating disprove the Bible, he really means, does tree ring dating disprove a global flood 4,400 years ago? The science of dating trees is known as dendrochronology, where they can actually drill a core sample into the tree, extract it, and count the tree rings to find out how old the tree is. They gave the simple counting of tree rings its own name and classification as a scientific discipline, and it requires a dedicated four-year degree and earns an average of $55,000 a year for just counting? That doesn't seem right. If counting alone was a science, then this guy should have already received his Nobel Prize. Sorry. 17, oh, 18, I'm sorry, sir. 19, I think you're not 20 going to win. seconds. <laughs> but it's not an exact science. Trees have been known to grow two or three rings in one year, simply because of the climate changes that have taken place. I found the article from which Eric pulled the paragraph you see on the screen. Notice how he's lifted a few select phrases that in isolation seem to make dendrochronology little more than a guessing game. For fun, let's read the whole thing. Tree species vary greatly. In this article, we make the assumption that growth is annual with a distinct growing season. Most tree species are reliable. Oak is the most reliable type for tree rings, with not a single known case of a missing annual growth ring. Alder and pine are notorious for occasionally missing a year, which is confusing enough without the fact that those species also sometimes double up by having two rings in the same growth season. Birch and willow are not used at all because of the erratic nature of their growth cycle. Since the changes to the climate since the Industrial Revolution, some of the more recent dendrochronology records have become erratic, and at higher elevations tree ring data is declined. We are seeing more variability than ever before. It sounds to me like dendrochronologists have a pretty good idea of the parameters of what they're looking for and expected sources of error. These trees aren't the oldest. That privilege goes to the bristlecone pine trees in the White Mountains, about 100 miles from this location. Core samples from the oldest bristlecone pine discovered show that it had 5,062 growth rings. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's 5,062 years old. Growth rings are determined by climate 
A dry climate will give it a growth ring. Wet climate will give it another growth ring. Cold can give it a small growth ring. When they examine these and find out that there are 5,062 growth rings, this is great evidence that fits what the Bible actually tells us. Let's not get too hasty and make too many assumptions here. The source that Eric chose to put up earlier started by stating clearly, tree species vary greatly. Since the reliability of bristlecone pines wasn't addressed by that source, let's turn to peer-reviewed science literature. The most cited paper is this one, Accuracy of Tree Ring Dating of Bristlecone Pine for Calibration of the Radiocarbon Timescale. Let's read the abstract. An independently developed tree ring chronology for bristlecone pines in the White Mountains, California, provides a basis for testing the accuracy of dendrochronological calibration of the radiocarbon timescale. Several lines of evidence show the growth rings in this species are true annual rings. Internal evidence and cross-chronology comparison indicate that there is no error in calendar dates assigned to wood specimens for comparative radiocarbon analysis at least back to 3535 BC. So, at least in the past 5,500 years, all the bristlecone pine rings have been verified to a single ring per year, not the hypothetical multiple rings per year Eric talks about that some other tree species can get. So the oldest tree we should find should be less than 4,400 years old. And when accounting for multiple growth rings per year, we can easily see the bristlecone pine fits the description given to us in the Bible. While multiple lines of converging evidence tells us that there have been no multi-ring per year cases observed in bristlecone pines in the last 5,000 years, Eric wants to assert that 600 bonus rings have just appeared somehow. The oldest tree should be about 4,400 years old, and that's what we see. No, tree ring dating doesn't disprove the Bible. Wait, is that the end of the discussion? Does Eric really think that dendrochronology begins and ends with counting the tree rings of one single tree? So what Eric's video should have been called is, Do tree rings prove that one still living tree is older than my interpretation date of the flood? But the power of dendrochronology is in so much more than counting. A tree's rings are not the same size each year. In a year with more rain, the ring will be larger. And in a year with less rain, it will be relatively smaller. The pattern of thick and thin rings over successive years will match in trees of the same region to such an extent that the combination is sufficiently unique to act like a barcode or fingerprint in precisely identifying a period of time in the wood from tree to tree. Starting with recent trees where the exact date of every ring is known and compared against older wood samples finding overlapping patterns to establish a timeline. Let's go back to the website that Eric chose as his source for dendrochronology. It affirms the accuracy of tree ring data collections and says, we now have an 8,600 year chronology for the bristlecone pine and in the region of 12,500 year chronology for the oak. Right on Eric's video, we can see the phrase, oak is the most reliable tree type for tree rings. And the oak chronology goes back over 12,000 years. According to Eric, that's twice as old as the age of the entire universe. So back to the original question, does tree ring dating disprove the Bible? If you're talking about the specific idea of a 6,000 year old earth, then yes. Yes, it does. If you want to learn more about dendrochronology, allow me to recommend Tony Reed's video, How Creationism Taught Me Real Science Number 65 Dating Assumptions, and Aaron Ra's video, How Dendrochronology Disproves Noah's Flood. Thanks as always to my valued patrons, whose generosity is allowing me to move forward with more ambitious plans to explore even more Christian claims on differing topics. If you can join them for as little as a dollar a month, please visit patreon.com slash apologia. As always, thank you everyone for watching, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel to make sure you get notifications when new videos arrive. Some pretty cool stuff coming up. Until next time, later.